Grammarly is one of the hottest writing apps for writers right now, and it offers a free and a premium version. Is the free version worth it? <laughs> in this video, I'm going to share my screen and teach you everything you need to know about Grammarly's free version in 10 minutes or less. Okay, we're here on my desktop and I'm going to show you a couple of different versions of Grammarly. And the first one I want to show you is the browser extension. So what a lot of people are probably familiar with is that Grammarly offers a browser extension for Chrome and for Firefox. And I'm going to use Chrome in this example. So I'm here in the Chrome web store. So all you have to do is just type in Grammarly browser extension and you should be able to find a link to it. So I'm going to go ahead and install it and as you can tell here the little G pops up and uh, tells me my installation is complete that is super easy to use so now what I can do is I can go into any app any website anywhere that has a text field and then you'll be able to see exactly how this works so I'm over on YouTube now and I'm in a video that I have not uploaded on the channel just yet as of the time I'm recording this. And what I can do here is I can go into, click into this text field and it'll ask you to see how it works. So we'll take a quick tour. And this is pretty slick. So it just kind of gives you a little tutorial of hovering your mouse over underlined words and then you can click once on your preferred correction. Pretty much how the actual app itself works, but then you can also personalize it. So you can say most of my writing is for other projects for write in American English, primary language is English, and then grammar skills are, I'm going to brag a little bit and say they're advanced. Go ahead and save, and then it will say you're fully protected. And then you just basically look for the little G logo in any text field that you're writing on. All right, so we're going to go here, and it looks like Grammarly identified two issues. So this first issue here, if you hover over it, it says change the adjective. Um, okay, so this is, a, this is what I would call false positive, right? So what it's recommending is not accurate, but it is, there is an issue. So I'll say, so that, that's gonna be better. All right, so it only found that one issue. So everything else is good. So that's how the browser extension works. It just works Anytime you're entering in any kind of text, you know, it, it just, it's just in the background sl silently protecting you from any terrible typos. And if I click this little G button up here, uh, it just gives you some, just gives you some options. So it basically, if, if I don't want to check my grammar when I'm on YouTube specifically, I can turn this off and then, you know, there's just some additional options that you can do as well. And then this will also jump you into Grammarly. So um, it's pretty cool. So I also wanted to let you guys know that the Grammarly app also has an integration with Google Docs. Now that's in beta testing right now. It doesn't always 100% work. Um, when I first found out about it, it worked really well. And then when I was recording this video, I got an error saying that you know the, the Grammarly team is working on it. So I wasn't able to use it in Google Docs, but I would definitely invite you to check it out if Google Docs or the, the Google suite of products is something that you use on a regular basis because it does work very well. So I wanted to show you the, the browser version of Grammarly real quick, just to show you that it's identical to all the other versions and the free version is just as powerful. So we're gonna go into one of my documents here. And as you can see, it is checking it. We'll hit that correct with assistant button. And then as you can see, this looks almost identical to what you would typically see in the Grammarly desktop app. So there we go. So I had one error there. And then another error there. And then I'll just discard that because I don't think that's accurate. So we'll dismiss that. So th see how easy that is? That's the browser version and it, it, it's super quick. Now I want to show you the iOS version of Grammarly. Now this is a keyboard extension. So it's not like the browser version or the app version. It's just a keyboard that you can use that will basically check your work as you go. We're going to jump into the Ulysses app, and as you can tell here, I am just simply typing on my regular iOS keyboard, and this is the keyboard that comes pre-installed with every, <laughs> every iPhone. But now we're going to jump over into the Grammarly keyboard and see how it looks different. It's, it's a little bit cleaner, and 
Um, it doesn't have as much functionality, I would say, but it's still pretty cool. And so as you can tell, as I'm typing on this script, you can see Grammarly on that top ribbon there just kind of updating and, and making suggestions as I go. I can follow the suggestions if I want, or I can wait until I'm done with the, the writing and then kind of go back and review everything after the fact. So as you can tell, there's, there's quite a bit of functionality here and it does work fairly well. Another thing I will tell you though is that the keyboard for iOS doesn't seem to be as responsive as the standard iOS keyboard. That's just my personal opinion, which is why I don't tend to use it. But I show it to you in this video because this may not be an issue for you and you may find a lot of value in having this on your keyboard because if you're like me, you do a lot of working and writing on your phone and so if you can eliminate a couple of extra typos that way then so be it. So we're here inside the Grammarly desktop app for Mac and look at this it looks no different than the browser version so that's one of the great things about this this app I mean the free version gives you just such great synchronicity between everything that you would need to use the desktop the browser the browser extension, the iOS keyboard. I mean, the, just the experience is gonna be consistent across all three of them for a free app. That's really impressive. And just to show you what I'm talking about, we'll go back into the writing struggles document again. And as you can see, it's still looking and, and, and it actually synced with the, the version that I had in the cloud. So if I go back to correct, see the other two, other, other two issues it didn't find because they were already fixed and so it's just yet another issue we'll dismiss that again and boom so the functionality like I said before is identical and that's why I love Grammarly so much is because it really does make your life easier in terms of catching those simple little pesky typos that you know you may not even think about as you're typing so you know why not use something like this to help you you know if you're writing nonfiction or if you're just browsing the internet or you know you're working on something in your writer business why not just let this work behind the scenes and help you right I, I it's it's that good and the functionality is so easy and slick that I, I just don't know why you wouldn't if you're looking for more demonstrations of the Grammarly app in action, I definitely invite you to check out my Grammarly experiment video. In that video, I actually take one of my YouTube scripts and I test it out to see exactly how accurate Grammarly is. And if you're using the free version, you're definitely gonna wanna check that out because I have some opinions about the free version versus premium. So be sure to click that YouTube card at the top of the screen. And if you wanna grab your copy of Grammarly, if you don't have it yet, and if you're just on the fence about whether it's for you and this video helped you make that decision, please grab your copy via the link in the video description. As I mentioned before, this is the free version. Everything you've seen in this video is the free version. I do receive a small commission for everyone that does sign up through the free link, but again, that's no cost to you. So if you found this video helpful, that's just a super easy way to say thank you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And if you want to know more about Grammarly and still need help with your decision, I put together a playlist with my Grammarly review and my Grammarly versus Pro Writing Aid app battle to help you decide if the app is for you. And of course, you can sign up for your copy of Grammarly via the link below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.